uh, please keep on watching. So in Kaj, usually brides do a very minimal makeup, very subtle look. So uh, we will start by concealing face. So I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So I have already moisturized and primed my face. Uh, now I'll be applying directly concealer. So now I have already concealed my face. I'll be applying foundation. I'm using Maybelline foundation. So I'll do a dab dab motion and apply. So uh, now I'm using flat angled foundation brush from Puna Store and I'm just gonna dab it and fit into my skin. So I think the base is done. I have blended everything with this brush and I think it is looking slightly uh, heavy but it will settle down. So I will set my face using this Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I will take very little amount and I will try to bake it and then set it into my skin. So with the same brush I am taking this powder. I'll try to do it very subtle, so I'm taking very less quantity. Now I'll blend everything. So blend till your fingers hurt. And uh, then I'll move to contour part. So I'll not be contouring much. I'll just be doing a bronze part and not of much highlighting and everything. So I'll be taking this Estee Lauder palette. And then from that only I'll be using this brush and I'm using this uh, bronzy shade to just uh, give uh, that definition to my face. So I think the definition is quite uh, subtle and I have tried to give in that shade. So now I'll be moving to a uh, blush. I'll be applying blush really, really in a very little quantity. So I'm using this flat buffing brush. I think this is perfect for blush, though it is a buffing brush, but I'll be using it for blush. So I'm taking this Maybelline Color Show blush. Now the blush is done. So now I will be moving towards eyes. So I'm using this uh, dupe of uh, Morphe palette, the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I have applied this uh, tape just to get that perfect uh, colors. So I will be using this dark browny reddish shade at the transition and the crease and I'll be using golden shade uh, in my lid and inner corners. So I'll just start doing it. Then I'll be taking the golden shade with my finger, very little amount. And then I'll just add it on the lid and the inner part of the eye. So the Kachi brides have silver as well as golden jewellery and they wear a lot of jewellery. So the makeup is very subtle and the look comes only with the jewellery. So I am keeping it very simple. I think this eye is pretty much done and I will just mix it and complete this eye and come back. So I think I have done pretty much eyes. Now I will move on to the inner corners and the kajal and eyeliner part. So all the brushes I am using is from Puna store. I am using this fat pointy dome brush to fill the inner corners. I will be taking the lightest shade in this palette 
and then I will do my inner corners. The same thing I have done with another eye. So I'll be taking this same brush and I'll go with the leftover product uh, at the down of the eye. Now I'll be removing the, these tapes and just check whether the uh, things are on place or not. So now I'll blend everything with the same brush. I think this side is little light so I'll take very little amount and just dab off the excess on my hand and just apply very little quantity. So now I'll be moving towards the kajal and eyeliner part. So first I prefer curling it and then apply anything. So I'm using this Vega curler to curl my lashes. So what this does is it just opens up your eye and it's ju it just adds that uh, awakening effect to your eyes. So uh, for kajal I'll be using this uh, faces magnetic kajal just to fill my waterline. I'm really not a kajal fan but kachi brides prefer kajal over eyeliner as far as my knowledge is concerned. I'm not a kajal fan so I have applied very little amount on the tight line as well as waterline. So now I'll be moving towards my eyeliner. So I'm using this Urban Color Super Matte 16 hour stay eyeliner. This is matte. So I think this eye looks really good. So I'll finish the second eye and come back. So I think both eyes are done. I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll be coming to the very interesting part. That's a surprise. So here usually brides have that uh, tribal thing over forehead and near eyes at chin or neck or they have tattoos on all over the body with different different meanings. So I'll be just doing dots over here with the same eyeliner. They do have it here as well but I don't think brides will be having. Mostly the kachi ladies or the ayer ladies have all those tattoos on forehead. So next on I'll be moving on to the mascara. I am using this Avon Pretty Mascara and I'll be applying very little amount of mascara because I need that uh, simple and subtle look of that uh, typical kachi bride. To complete this look, we will add bindi according to the outfit. So uh, the last part is lipstick. As I said, I will not be much highlighting uh, my face much. So if it's needed, I'll do it later. So I'm using this Lacme Absolute Lipstick, the Argan Oil range. I have this drenched red, beautiful red color. You need to stay really patient and apply your lipstick just to not spoil your base. I'll put on Bindi and get ready with my outfit. So please keep on watching. The jewelry is of my mom's and my friend's jewelry. These are typical uh, kachi ornaments which are worn on kachi marriage or basically the tribal kachi or ayer marriage and the outfit is of my friends. They make it on their own and they these all are uh, handwork. All of this is done. Uh, 
all of this is hand work this is a handmade or hand crafted outfit this is of my friends and this nut i have diy let me know if you wish to see the video of this diy nut so uh, these two are really two important pieces in the kachi bride uh, bangles you can wear it of your own choice so i am wearing this balaiya or uh, katla you can say katla and i am wearing these jhanjars uh silver jhanjars which, which you can get it at any silver store and i am wearing these oxidized uh, uh, rings and i have done that a uh, typical tribal bindis so uh, basically it's a silver jewelry this is gold plated silver jewelry Hello guys thank you so much for watching my video it was fun shooting it and let me know if you wish to know more about kach or kachi attires and i can create those basic tribal kachi looks or iron looks or looks which are popular in kach and for which the kach is known for tribal and for ari bharat and everything so uh, let me know if you wish to see more such videos this was only a bridal kachi bridal look or kach bride or ayer bride whatever you call it so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and please share this video as much as you can and thank you so much